Hey everyone, so I'm gonna walk through how to create a GPT here uh, from OpenAI's new releases that they just released on Dev Day. So what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to have a ChatGPT Plus plan, and then you're gonna need to come over here into your settings under settings and beta, and you wanna make sure under beta features that you have both of these turned on, um, and then you should be able to see up here in the left-hand corner on the top, uh, and explore tab. So you click on explore. Uh, so when you log in, it should be looking something like this. You click on explore and this is where you can see create a GPT. I've already created a few, which I hopefully will be doing a video on about these soon, but I actually want to create uh, a marketing GPT and I will walk you through a full uh, full step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create a GPT here. So what you're going to do is create uh, the GPT by clicking there and uh, the GPT builder will actually pop up here and walk you through the whole process. So um, Sam Altman and the OpenAI team did a really great demo at Dev Day walking through how to create this, but it asks you questions. So, hi, I'll help you build a new GPT. You can say something like, make a, cre a creative who helps generate visuals for new products. What would you like to make? So. I have a um, prompt that I created here for marketing GPT. So I want to uh, model it in the the way that Sabri Subi from Sell Like Crazy, a uh, very well-known digital marketer does. So I have a prompt here that I created um, and I will say I want to create a, an AI assistant that embodies the digital marketing acumen of Sabri Subi, integrating his best practices, frameworks, and strategies to provide expert level guidance and solutions in digital marketing. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Now GPT Builder is going to be yeah, walking through through parsing all of that information. So you can see it is loading here, updating a GPT with the little wrench animation icon. All right, and the GPT behavior was updated. So it says, great choice for creating an AI system based on Sabri Subi's digital marketing expertise. It'll cover areas like direct response marketing, sales funnel optimization, digital ads, content marketing, SEO, social media marketing, email marketing, data analysis, reporting, and psychological triggers in marketing. Now let's give this AI a name. How about digital marketing guru? Let's do uh, marketing guru GPT. Now, uh, after we gave it the name, it's gonna go ahead and generate a profile picture for this GPT. We have a profile picture for marketing guru GPT designed in a futuristic sci-fi style to reflect its expertise in digital marketing. How do you feel? Would you like any changes to it? Um, let me, the image actually looks pretty good. This is using a Dolly uh, 3 added in here, but I want to change it a little bit. So I'm going to say I want to add in some growth arrows or graphs into the picture to uh, kind of display and show like growth. Nice. I like this one. So here's the updated profile picture for Marketing Guru GPT, now featuring the growth arrows. Yeah, this one definitely looks better. I like that. So I'm gonna say I like this image. Um, now let's focus on the kinds of queries and tasks Marketing G uh, Guru GPT will primarily handle. Uh, considering its expertise in digital marketing, should it focus on providing detailed strategies for campaigns or offer general advice? Let's say offer detailed strategies for specific campaigns but also be able to provide general advice and tips as needed that might help improve the performance of marketing campaigns. All right, the GPT behavior is updated. Great to hear you like the image. With Marketing Guru GPT, users can expect to receive detailed strategies for specific campaigns and general advice to enhance the marketing campaign performance. This balance will ensure users get tailored, actionable insights for unique needs. Now let's talk about how Marketing Guru GPT should approach interactions. How do you envision its communication style? Should it be formal and professional or more casual and approachable? Let's say um, it should be casual and approachable. 
and considering the advanced level of guidance will provide, should it primarily offer direct answers to user queries or should it also ask uh, clarifying questions? It should offer direct answers to user queries, but also ask clarifying questions if needed. So now it's saying it will now uh, is set to provide expert digital marketing advice in a casual and approachable manner. It will offer direct answers to user queries and ask clarifying questions. We've crafted a well-rounded AI assistant here. Would you like to try interacting with it in the playground to see how it responds? You can give it a test and let me know if there are any refinements you'd like to make. Nice. So when you have this ready to go, we can come over here to preview and preview everything. Um, over here, it automatically adds in like four questions uh, that you can click just like traditional chat GPT has in there. Um, so how can I optimize my sales funnel, advice on SEO, what are effective digital advertising strategies, how to use psychological triggers in marketing. So you can test that, um, but over here under configure, this is where you actually go in. You can adjust the name, you can uh, update the description, you can update the instructions here uh, to make it more specific. Uh, the more specific, the better, because you can get uh, better responses from the GPT you're creating. Uh, the conversation starters, this is where you can add in any other ones that you want. Um, you know, help me create like a social media marketing campaign or something like that. You can add those in. Uh, I definitely want to make sure you have uh, these capabilities added on here if needed. Um, and then uploading files, this is really great because you can basically have like a mini kind of knowledge base um, that you can train this uh, GPT to reference that data. So I do have something. I'm going to go ahead and add in my Cell Light -like Crazy process. So Sabri Subi has a Cell Light -like Crazy book, which is amazing for digital marketing. I use that in a lot of digital marketing uh, projects and things I've done over the years. So I'm going to add that in here so that it can reference that. Um, and then you also have actions that you can add in here. So this is where you can add in uh, information, take actions outside of ChatGPT. Uh, you can click on the link here to learn more. It has like really good information here on like where to go through on the settings uh, to add in, in different things. So you can make third party APIs available to the GPT by providing details about the endpoints. So this is amazing uh, for those of you who are developers. Um, now you can actually import, yeah, a lot of API connections, which is uh, fantastic. Um, so it's got like get weather data, open AI profile um, as like examples. Um, and then the other thing that you can do under additional settings, um, you can turn on and off the conversation data in your GPT to improve their models. Uh, so you can turn that off if you don't want um, the conversation data in there. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that off um, just because I'm more privacy oriented person. <laughs> so um, and let's go ahead and test this out. So let's say uh, create a social media marketing uh, actually, let's do create a marketing campaign for a new health and wellness startup that offers a monthly membership plan for diets, exercises, and community account ability. Let's do personalized health coaching and community accountability. The name is Health Hero 101. All right, so let's test this baby out and see what it can do. So it is creating a marketing campaign for Health Hero 101. Health and wellness startup involves several strategic steps that align with the principles from Sell Like Crazy. Here's a comprehensive plan. So we want to target audience um, and identify them, call out your audience, focus on individuals seeking a holistic approach to health and wellness, including diet, exercise, personalized coaching, persona creation. So identify the different segments of the audience that we want to target, like the business uh, professionals, health enthusiasts, individuals seeking lifestyle changes, and then create the persona around them. Uh, for the campaign messaging headline, transform your life with Health Hero 101, your partner in personalized wellness and fitness. 
highlight common challenges like lack of time, confusion over diet and exercise, uh, position Health Hero 101's monthly membership as the comprehensive solution, digital presence, uh, so landing page, design a landing page with a clear call to action and a detailed description of services, develop blog posts, videos, and social media content focusing on success stories, the irresistible offer, the godfather offer, join now and get your first month for just $1 plus a free personalized health assessment, offer a downloadable ebook on nutrition and a voucher for a free wellness uh, webinar, lead generation and capture, uh, provide a free health and wellness guide in exchange for email signups, utilize a series of nurturing and informative emails to guide leads through the benefits of joining Health Hero 101. Traffic acquisition, focus on Facebook and Instagram ads, targeting those people, influencer partnerships, community building, create the exclusive members only community, uh, sharing progress, challenges and tips, regular interactive sessions, uh, the conversion strategy, sales calls and demos, offer free consultation calls to discuss individual goals, testimonials, success, uh, show um, success stories, retention, uh, introduce advanced personalized coaching sessions. So yeah, there's a lot here. It's very, very robust. Um, there's a lot of the elements pulled straight from Sabri Subi's Sell Like Crazy and the process from the data, the information that I added in that uploaded file, which is amazing. It's also, yeah, coming up with the budget allocation, uh, which is fantastic. So yeah, this is really good, very impressive. So when you're ready to uh, release this or share it to the public or share it with only a handful of people, um, you can come up here and you can do save and do public, only people with the link or only me. Uh, you can also click these three dots to do to delete the GPT. I'm gonna save only people with the link and hit confirm. And now it uh, redirects back here into the chat GPT interface and it shows up here on the left-hand side. Uh, for your custom GPTs. If you want to edit um, the uh, GPT, you can click on Explore and go back in here and then click on the editing uh, button. So if you click on this new chat, this is actually where it will bring up a new chat using the Marketing Guru GPT, the new GPT that you actually uh, just created. So uh, overall, I am blown away uh, with creating a GPT. This is just the start of yeah what you can do with GPT. So think about your work or if you're an entrepreneur or business owner, like what are some ways that you can create essentially your own GPT, your own AI tool to help augment some of the tasks and things that you're doing. So if you're doing like marketing or sales or lead generation or something like that, content marketing, uh, doing social media marketing, you can create a GPT focused around some of your best processes, your best practices on how you do things. You can also feed in information about your business and it will use that yeah, to basically help create campaigns, answer questions. So yeah, I'm very, very impressed with what they've done with custom GPTs. Um, I would love to have any questions down below in the comment section. Um, if you guys want me to create a new GPT on a particular niche, please let me know. Uh, I would love to go through that. I've also been testing out um, my Catalyst content formula. It's my process for doing like really, really effective content marketing for brands. Uh, people like Gary V use the similar process. Um, I've used it, yeah, for companies all around the world over the last uh, 10 years or so. And uh, yeah, it's phenomenal, the results I've been getting from that. So if you have, yeah, any questions, again, drop them down below. Please remember to like and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss my other upcoming videos that I've got. Uh, and yeah, feel free to drop any technical questions too down below and check out some of my other AI and tech videos that I've been doing on the channel. As always, thank you for tuning in. Remember to keep moving forward and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.